What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video, we are checking out the Rokid Air AR glasses. Now, if you're not familiar with AR, or augmented reality, basically these glasses are gonna produce the equivalent of a 120 inch screen right in front of your face. You can watch movies, play games, browse social media, do some work. They connect to almost any device, and they basically allow for an entirely new way of interacting with your tech and the world around you. Unlike most of the complicated bulky VR headsets, the Rokid Airs are super easy to set up, pretty much plug and play, and they come with everything you need. So inside the box, you'll first see a really nice carrying case that holds the glasses, of course. You also get a quick start guide and a USB-C cable. Now, this is the one and only cable you'll need to connect the glasses to most devices you can think of, and I'll demo that in just a second. You also get a cleaning cloth, one more instruction pamphlet, and some additional lens hoods to block out the sun or the glare. The Rokid Air glasses I think are pretty cool looking actually. They kind of look like sunglasses from the future or from the 80s, depending on your style. But a lot of the tech and stuff is well hidden, so the glasses are relatively minimal and they're fairly light too. Taking a look around, there are a number of important bits to point out here. So obviously you have an adjustable nose piece in the middle there that you can bend and shape to get the perfect fit for your face. Just above that is an ambient light sensor, so when you take off the glasses, they'll turn off the display automatically. At the top above each eye area, there are also a couple dials for diopter adjustments. Basically, focus adjustments for people who need glasses that range from 0 to minus 5D. So you can adjust the image accordingly so you don't have to wear your regular glasses with these. There's a single button on the right side, and there's also a few external speakers on the glasses themselves, which actually sound pretty good. Here's a quick sample so you can get an idea. And there's also a microphone, which allows you to take phone calls and record audio and launch a ton of voice commands that you can use to interact with the glasses. For some additional comfort, the ends of the glasses have some foam padding, which should allow for extended wear time. And as a whole, the Rokid Airs, I think, are actually built quite well. They're sturdy and durable. They don't creak or squeak. I don't feel like I'm going to break them as I'm handling them, but they're still light and comfortable enough to feel pretty good on my face. Rokid also just launched a few new accessories for the glasses as well, a non-slip lanyard detachment, which actually is really helpful. Not only can you just let the glasses hang from your neck when you're taking a break from them, but you can also use the lanyard to secure the glasses to your head if you need to, so I would definitely recommend this. And there's also a couple new glasses shades that you can swap on and off pretty easily by just unscrewing two little screws on the glasses and popping them into place. One is a lighter shade, almost transparent, and the other is a super dark shade that basically blocks out everything around you and turns these into as close to VR as you can get. And I would also recommend getting an HDMI to USB-C adapter. This is going to let you connect the Rokud Air to a lot more devices that don't have the proper USB-C capability or don't have the port at all, but do have HDMI. Okay, so how do they work? Well, you have a few different options here. For starters, you can just use the USB-C port from the glasses and the included USB-C cable to plug them into any smartphone that supports DisplayPort over USB. USB-C. So a lot of Android flagships and like the iPads that have USB-C, for example, this plug and play method then allows you to see whatever is on your screen through the glasses. So you could scroll through Twitter, watch a YouTube video, type messages, or even play games. And it's all going to be shown right in front of your face on this huge 120 inch projection screen. The way this visual projector screen works is that there's actually two micro OLED displays, 1920 20 by 1080 resolution for each eye that run at 60 hertz with a 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Pretty crazy specs for such a small device. And the teeny tiny displays get mirrored onto the glasses. So you end up with this sort of see-through projection display. It's really hard to demo on camera, obviously. You're gonna have to just take my word for it, but you can imagine a sort of semi-transparent visual, whatever's on your device, that's being shown at basically the size 
size of a wall. The visuals are surprisingly good. The picture is bright and sharp, and it's relatively easy to focus on. It's still semi-transparent, so you can kind of adjust your eyes to see past it and still interact with the outside world. But for the most part, you've just got this huge display right in front of your eyes. What's really cool about the Roku Air is that you can use them with a ton of different devices, even if they aren't USB-C compatible or don't support display port out. So a PC or a laptop or a Steam Deck would all be fine. A MacBook Pro is cool too. But if you want to use some other devices like an iPhone, you can get an add-on like this, the Guvis Wireless Cast, and screen mirror your device to the Roku Air glasses. The possibilities are endless, honestly. You can do anything from watch TV shows and movies to play games, to browse Instagram. It really allows you to interact with all your favorite apps in a whole new way. And with the Roku Air app, you can unlock even more features. The app acts sort of like your hub with a bunch of settings for the glasses. So for example, if you want a more VR-like experience, you can enable the 3D mode where everything is gonna be fixed in one position and you can sort of look around. This is great for just expanding your viewing area and you can open up multiple windows in a browser, for example, or sort of multitask with different things going on around you. To control the Roku app, you use your phone basically like a little pointer or trackpad and you can see that it's a little tricky at first, but you get the hang of it pretty quickly. Quickly. The interface is really straightforward, and not only do you have a number of apps and things you'd probably want anyway already here, but Roku also offers a ton of pre-installed games and things that make it super easy to just jump right in and start having fun with the glasses. A lot of these games are sort of made for AR. They're almost closer to VR, actually, where you look around, interact with a bunch of things, and actually one of the newest VR games that was just brought over to the Roku Air is called Lost in Abyss. It's available from the Communities tab right in the app, and it's this first-person horror thriller game where you're trying to solve the mystery of a gruesome family murder. You get to search through creepy rooms looking for clues, complete some pretty scary tasks, and come across some very creepy stuff. It's certainly not for the faint of heart, but it's a really immersive game with a lot to it. I don't want to spoil it or give too much away, but I think if you're really into like the scary and creepy stuff and you like, like murder mysteries, I think you'll like Lost in Abyss. And this is really just a whole new way of playing games, but like I said, it doesn't feel like you have to be totally enveloped by a VR headset or have some super fancy PC or expensive gear to make it all work. Overall, the Roku Air glasses have a ton of use cases. You can just have them be a bigger, better screen for all your favorite content, or take advantage of a true AR or VR-like experience with certain apps and games. And honestly, I think I like this setup a bit better than some of those huge, bulky VR headsets. The Roku Air glasses are immersive enough without being over the top you can wear them for longer, they don't hurt your eyes or make you dizzy, they're just a lot more comfortable. And I think these glasses are definitely something you should consider if you're just starting to get into the world of AR or VR. They're pretty much the perfect, easy setup, plug and play kind of product. And Rokit is actually running a bit of a deal right now for Black Friday, so you can save a bit of money on them too. I'll leave a link to them along with a promo code down below in the video description if you're interested. I highly suggest you jump on this deal. But what do you guys think of these AR glasses? Would you be interested in trying them out? Can you find some use cases? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, of course. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.